Hey everybody, it's Christine of Twinkle Plans for Day. Welcome to my channel. I'm going to be planning the week of October 11th in my Plan a Happy Life Vertical Classic Planner. And the inspiration for this spread is coming from a picture, this picture from Best Kept Plans. And I believe she hashtagged the budget mom on this. I don't know if that's a stamp or, or what it is, but I love the design. So I'm gonna to try to copy it with this orange mod liner and I'm going to be using the fine tip. There's two tips on these mod liners, a fine tip, which I'm gonna show you, and then a chisel tip. And I'm just going to be drawing out these little circles randomly across the corners here. There's the fine tip. And then I'm gonna show you the chisel tip. There you are. And I'm just gonna read randomly, and it's not gonna be perfect. There's really no way to make it perfect. I don't have, I mean, maybe they make stamps. It'd be great if there were stamps, if I had stamps, but I don't have stamps. So I'm going to be just using my pen for this, and I know I'm gonna make a lot of mistakes. And you can see right off the bat, it's not great. But I'm not, you know, I'm not gonna be uh, concerned about that. I can cover things up with stickers. So I'm just gonna continue going along and finishing like the other arc of this little rainbow here. So I'm kind of doing like half half arcs, half rainbows on all these little squares and I'm gonna be doing them randomly. Uh, I didn't decide beforehand and I'm counting like 12 lines on each one so they're kind of consistent. I'm gonna to try to make it as consistent as I can. But I'm just going with the flow and enjoying the process. Not too worried about the product just yet. Uh, I mean, if I do, I know that if I do go crazy and really make a mistake, then I have my Uniball Signo pen that I can maybe correct a little bit of it, but you can always put a sticker over things. So I'm not worried about it. So here we go in the second column, just filling out my little rainbows, trying to make them even, trying to not go too fast or too slow because going too slow sometimes uh, makes it worse than going too fast. So I'm just trying to just enjoy the process of just making lines randomly. And the idea behind this is I kind of think it would look like a fun house. I don't know if you guys get what I'm thinking, like an old 1960s uh, movie where you're on an amusement park or some sort of fun house where it's kind of like crazy, like a cartoonish effect. If you get my vibe, that's what I'm going for. If you don't know what I'm talking about, maybe it will come to you as I complete the spread. Maybe. So <laughs> hopefully it will. Anyway, I'm going around. I kind of really like the way it looks. Uh, if you squint your eyes and don't look too closely because these lines really aren't perfect, but I'm, I really don't care. <laughs> I'm not a perfectionist at all. Just going through the flow, trying to have fun with it. And I haven't planned for a while. Like it's been a few weeks, so. I mean, I did a monthly spread and I did some bujo things, but I haven't really... Oh, there's my Uniball Signo. I think I do correct a line or two here and there, but nothing too major. So I'm finishing up this first left side of the page and then I'll get more of a feel about what I should do on the right hand. And I'm noticing that if I like finish half the arc on one side, then turn the paper over, it makes it a little easier. Also, as I continue the process, uh, I sort of get warmed up. So my lines are a little bit more even as I go through it. So I should have maybe practiced before doing this. <laughs> it would have warmed me up and I would have been, I would have had e more even lines. And I should know that by now going into this. But I didn't feel like, I was lazy. I didn't feel like practicing first. And I just wanted to go right into it and dive into it. But it's okay. So I'm just sort of trying to figure out at this point, how many of these arcs I should put, what direction I should put them in. It's very random. But I can always correct things with boxes and stickers, as I said. I'm trying to count like between, I think I did 12 lines, but some of them have 10 or 11. <laughs> They're not all perfect. So I'm finishing off. I only have like a couple more to do here.
cartoon where you fall where somebody falls down and you get this swirly kind of thing. I hope somebody understands what I mean. <laughs> so I'm going to finish this up and then we'll start putting some Halloween stickers on and start having fun with this spread. But it does take long. So you got to bear me, bear with me. I'm just going to put one more, I think, on the top here. Actually, no, I think I'm going to add some more because the bottom part is a little emptier, so I'm going to add some more on that bottom right-hand side. But the more I put, the more it's coming together, and I feel like it's, <laughs> it's actually going to look like what I intended it to look like which is exciting. It doesn't always happen like that. I think I'll try this again in another spread with different, with different colors. I guess you can use this idea and do all kinds of different color combinations and get all kinds of different kinds of effects. So I'm gonna be interested in doing that in the future. So here I am all done with that part and I've decided officially to make this a Halloween spread. So I've got my Halloween sticker books out. So, Let's see what I can get. The first one is, I'm gonna use like the most recent Halloween sticker book. I mean, there's only one Halloween sticker book. <laughs> but I mean, not the fall ones. I'm gonna use this new one. I'm just going through, seeing what I can find. I think I would like a quote on the upper left-hand side because it's a bit white there. And I like this, let's get spooky sticker. So cute. So that's gonna be like the kind of, the theme. Now I'm gonna, I have some orange and I have some black. And that's just gonna, I'm gonna stick with that theme. I'm not gonna put any purple in there. I'm gonna stay away from the pink. Although the orange does tend to look a little pink. But anyway, I'm gonna put some boxes. The boxes are just gonna cover all this horrible <laughs> imperfections of this first arc that I made here. And I have the day off on Monday for Indigenous People's Day, I'm excited. So I'm gonna write my day off there. And I'm gonna put the other sticker, all these box stickers elsewhere. Now I'm not, I don't even have specific things planned. I'm just putting them randomly on the page just for aesthetic purposes. And I'll just use them as things come up. And if I don't have anything going on, I'll just add something I have to do. So I'm not really too worried about that. Although sometimes I do put boxes only where I have things planned, but not this time. I really don't have anything planned this week. That's special. <laughs> So I like these cute little boxes. I'm gonna pair them up so it's not too puny there. There you go, I like two boxes together like that. I think it looks really cute. I might add a few more. Just going through this book. This is like the one of the best books I think they ever put out is this Halloween book. I know there's a lot of controversy with the Dios de los Muertos stickers in there, but I am wild about this book. Love the aesthetics. Crazy cute. I might use that star. I'm not putting that right now, but I'm going to hold that thought and put other things before I put that star in. I might just go back at the end and put stars. You'll just have to wait and see. I'm going to go through and I like the color scheme of some of these. But first, I'm going to finish with the boxes. I know I'm going back and forth in my head. I'm going to finish with my boxes and then, then decide if I should put ghosts, if I should put bats or spider webs or whatever and i love these little flags we'll have to go back and use some of those those are perfect so there's a cute little i wanted a black something an accent a black accent to kind of balance out the black where it says spooky okay so after much Thought. I actually took a break, like a 30 minute break and ran, you know, paced around the room. What should I put now? I decided on using the ghosts. I'm not sure about the placement yet, but I am going to use ghosts like peeking out of one of the corners. I might have to break up this, these love birds here, these love ghosts. And that would be sad. <laughs> I think I'm going to have it coming out of the left. Yeah. On the side, peeking out. And I'll just take another one on the other side, kind of balance that out. But I, I think I'm going to use three ghosts. So I'm going to have to cut up that couple. Sorry, ghosts. And I'm using my fabulous tweezers for perfect placement. 
and I'm using, again, if you're cutting up stickers, if you're new to planning, cutting up stickers, you please use a one of those scissors that are, um, oh gosh, now I don't even remember the name of it. Like they're craft scissors, but they're made, they have like anti adhesive on it so that the, the adhesive of the sticker doesn't stick to the the scissors it really makes a big difference and make it, it just makes it so easy i was contemplating the using the bottom of the of that ghost but decided against it so i want to add some more things i have my die cuts with a view stickers that i got at joann's this is a pack of Halloween stickers. There were two packs of Halloween, like multiple Halloween stickers. And I'm gonna use these candies, these little lollipops. And I think it would be cute if the ghosts are holding them. So I'm gonna have them holding up the lollipops. The color scheme works perfectly. Adds a little bit of whimsy. Also, there's, there are these little eyeballs that I think I'm going to use them as bullet points. I mean, I wish they were just a tad bit smaller, so I'm putting them on the far left of this page so I can have like three things to concentrate on during the week. I'll just put that right there. And now next up are the spider webs. I think I'm going to add a couple of spider webs where I could think uh, there's some white space. I don't like white space in my planner, <laughs> so I'm just gonna use that where I think I could use some, some black and where I know I'm not gonna write something so I think that's cute, adds uh, another, another element, Halloween. Love those spiderweb stickers. Now it's really looking cute. I'm really starting to like this now. It's coming together. And now it's just for the details. I'm going to add some stars from that page that I was looking at before. And I think these will make, make this page for me. Simple spread, fairly easily put together. Has a definite. Adding the details for me is like the fa is my favorite part. Just adding some stars here and there. So fun because there's no more stress about what am I going to do today. I overstress when I put them in my pen and I really shouldn't. Just going to go through the book one more time to see if there's anything else I'm missing that I want to add. And there are a lot of choices. I could really go overboard. Oh, I love these today and tomorrow stickers. Such, and I love the font on them. So cute. So I'm just going to add a couple here and there. And then I think the page is going to be finished. Just one more. I always add stickers in threes. I don't know why. <laughs> so there's my, there's my spread. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. You can always catch me on Instagram at twinkleplansherday. And there it is, all staged and ready for Instagram. Thanks so much for watching.